If I can learn everything yeah. on my own by looking at what other, what I have taken good things from people I have seen Correct. around. Correct. So the same thing, if your mind is open and you are seeing stuff somebody else is doing, which is far better, you should be able to follow that. There's no problem right. with that. So, you know, for example, I, if bass guitar is played, huh. bass guitar is an attacking instrument. Right. Dung. Correct. Dung. Correct. If my attack is too short, huh. it is actually going to take that doom out. You have travelled with him in abroad also, right? A yeah. couple of times. Yeah. So, what was the sound system situation there, and what what? Uh, because at one point, definitely the West uh, had far superior sound systems than what. No, now now you can't say that. I mean, at one uh, point what it is, was. What, the what, discipline is still there. Like when you go to a foreign venue, huh. as per take writer, everything is patched, labeled, ready. Okay. Everything, as per stage plot. Is placed position. So even before you, before yeah, you yeah. reach there. before I reach, everything is labeled. The sound vendor guys have already. Yes, they, they have. They I mean, have when you set the plan. They, they, they have stage ready. manager. They have a FOH engineer. They have everybody who have, has. They have done their job as per my take writer. Okay. Before even I go there, everything is named. Now, few uh, vendors in India also okay. give that kind of stuff. Okay. So that they have up their game. Right. And there, there are a lot of. Uh, players who have understood this and have started giving this kind of uh, you know back lie, back backstage support and mm. uh, being professional in what they do. Right. So okay. systems are at par with international. Absolutely, there's no issue okay. with that. And some vendors, uh, tech team is also at par with international. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Because I believe there are a lot of uh, guys who have actually studied. Uh, in the West also and come back to India yeah, and uh, yeah. they have opened up their academies. And it's just, also just the mindset. Right. It, is, it has to do with attitude, the mindset. Underst See, if I can learn everything yeah. on my own by looking at what other, what I have taken good things from people I have seen Correct. around. Correct. So the same thing, if your mind is open and you are seeing stuff somebody else is doing which is far better, you should be able to follow that. There is no problem right. with that. So. All the systems which are good have to be followed. Where, where, where they come true, from doesn't true. matter. That's a very, yeah. very, very important uh, statement which probably is uh, correct for every aspect of life. Whatever is good and so take, it, yes, take it, learn it, adopt it. Whatever is true and correct. Make it better. <laughs> Make it better. Yeah. <laughs> like first when I started doing uh, festivals like NH7, huh. we had absolutely no clue how to handle five bands In at, on one stage. <laughs> how to handle. Uh, different requirements of different bands and you know manage that. Right. Then at that time we used to call artists and tell them, bro, oh, this is a festival situation, I can't give you this, I'm, what, but we were communicating that before. So okay. when the artist came, he was he, he was not surprised, huh. not to find his, he's already come prepared. Ready. So there was easy, uh, but then changeovers, uh, like for, for a setup like Indian Ocean, it is the drummer is on the left and everybody is in line. Okay. Every other band has a completely different correct, setup. So correct. whenever Indian Ocean was playing, we had to go two drum kits, mm. always as a, as a rule, okay. because we couldn't move that and shift everything. Uh, right. So then, uh, uh, nowadays the systems have been inculcated so well everywhere. We used to make a, a festival patch, so that uh, one uh, one standard festival patch was there. So there were two guitars, this drum kit. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, like okay. Whatever. Patch in the, uh, the uh, on the console. console. Input patching. Huh. Output patching. Right. They were all labeled like one, right, two, three, four, right. five, six, okay. seven. Okay. Whoever was, was coming, and there was guy who was taking notes of for this band. One number goes to drummer. Okay. Or, okay. You know, so the, all that. So all the systems are now absolutely in place. When we started, mm -hmm. NSM was one of the first few festivals where uh, they wanted to do this. It was mm -hmm. very very artist centric, where they wanted to uh, follow the systems which are abroad. Right. And uh, everybody was into it to make it smoother experience for everybody involved mm -hmm. and it is quite achieved in all the festivals now i see there is a stage manager I mean, okay it's, it's, it's part and parcel of indian, indian festivals now mm. damru yeah why i mentioned this specifically because there were just too many number of inputs from the say it is a percussion festival yeah, yeah. so i think shiva also played yeah, there yeah. and bondo also bondo also had like another 20 yeah. so how challenging was that? And it is, it is just describe a little bit it more about that. that was I think you, I believe you had a moving stage also at one on stage on no, stage. Nowadays, it's a standard yeah. practice of oh, having. It has become it's a standard okay. practice of having uh, musicians on uh, uh, risers with roll uh, the uh, uh, wheels. wheels. Yeah, I recently did a festival called Serendipity. I mean, I've been doing it for the last four ah. five years. So oh, there oh, again, oh. the change oh. changeovers are there. So the standard thing is to have them different sized risers with wheels with brakes 
wheels have to have brakes oh, okay. not they just should, they should yeah. not move yeah. <laughs> so so all that is now part and parcel that dabru festival uh, i didn't have too much of experience it was a little tough to get the job done to uh, you know naming i'll i'll tell you an example i was doing say percussion festival next year hmm. where uh, there was a new vendor okay Lo- which had not uh, done this kind of stuff and his boys were working and uh, i almost set everything up and there was some issue and there was a break and wa- an artist came his student has set his percussion stuff he came this is not right this is not set correctly huh. he wanted to change and he i was busy with the other artist i was sound checking for the other artist at that time so he came and took all the mics out. oh my god he changed everything ab lagao ab lagao to i told him lagao there was no label on a single <laughs> cable there was no label anywhere so nobody had absolutely oh any god. clue half an hour gone it would have been 5 minutes job which started from taking all the cables out starting all over ek number to ki <laughs> okay. so you learn by that but that, that time i was too busy and i was i didn't have the right kind of uh, people doing it hmm. so then i started seeing to it that there is a level on every cable okay any festival both dates yes all right whatever three so no, here is numbers here only and... this side but okay. that side is instruments correct the same thing is used by other also sometimes i mean they're okay. sharing also okay. now now there is there is a way of doing it is uh, sub snakes so you have one sub sub snake and that goes into the input channel like this oh, okay okay so you have one sub snake for one band right oh, or two sub snakes for one band then you change the sub snakes and put another one. same okay. inputs used for something else something else. and uh, either because of digital consoles you can save the settings and save and uh, one question is that uh, i would like you to talk little bit about that and second question second in the same thing i would like you to specifically talk a little bit about compressors because they are the most confusing uh, plugins yeah. to understand for a musician so when i am on stage when a musician is on stage uh, compressor actually plays a very important part yeah. in the entire sound system and he doesn't understand for whatever a lot of people don't understand so i would love you if you can talk uh, something about that the yeah, first thing is i use very less of compression because okay. i work with artists who understand the dynamics basically what is compression compression is use as a tool to reduce the dynamic range dynamic range meaning the loudest sound from an instrument or vocals huh. vocal is an instrument for me right so okay. loudest to softest okay the difference between that huh. is what is dynamics dynamic range okay. so the reduce the range between I mean, the level of softer so getting the softer part up and getting the louder part down okay. is what a compressor does that's okay. the basic okay when you, in, in that level okay the downside is if when the artist wants to play something loud and huh. if the compressor is not set right it will reduce the level okay so the louder he plays actually the actually it will reduce more okay so when the artist understands the dynamics he will never play too loud or never huh. play too soft huh. in the range okay. like shimani who okay. understand the okay. dynamic okay. range okay. so i don't have to use a compression on anything like 32 channel there is no compression wow but when i do a band like indian ocean when i do band like lucky ali uh, lucky ali's range his singing the composition range is this big and he gets affected when he starts listening to his voice loud like when he sings higher ha huh. when anybody sings higher Baro, he has to put more air correct it, it correct. comes louder like a flute player correct. same thing same thing so that is where i need compression okay i need compression correctly because when he sings loud he shouldn't have to keep the mic here right the old style ha oh, you, you have to do this you have to have to use the mic correct correct to but to you need to get what only you want in this much only that you don't need to you know run away from the mic because it is getting too loud in your right, in your right. or on your wages correct so to correctly adjust that there is something called as threshold right. one is the first thing that is most important is the threshold threshold is a, a level where anything goes above that you have to press it down okay so that's the threshold okay second so it's something like uh, uh, mother telling the child uh-huh. okay you can go and play but not after 7 o'clock you have to come back correct after you 7 o'clock is the threshold threshold after that you can the moment you are above that yes you have that, to come correct the something. ratio <laughs> how fast you have to come <laughs> okay okay and the 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 uh, what is the attack yeah attack is after 7 o'clock how much time do you have to come back 
ओके लाइक दो मिनट चलेगा या आफ्टर टू मिनट्स आफ्टर टू सेकेंड्स आफ्टर टू माइक्रो सेकेंड्स ओके इज दैट एक्ट ओके हाउ डज दैट इफेक्ट इन द साउंड लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ बेस गिटार इज प्लेड बेस गिटार इज एन अटैक इन इंस्ट्रूमेंट इफ माई अटैक इज टू शॉर्ट इट इज एक्चुअली गोन टू टेक दैट डूम आउट द इम्पैक्ट द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ बेस गिटार इज धुंग सो इफ माई अटैक इज टू शॉर्ट इट इज इमीजिएटली प्रेस राइट विच विल नॉट गिव दैट साउंड सो आई हैव टू गेट I, I have to allow that to come in, huh. and then, then start the compression. Okay. So that okay. it doesn't affect the whole system. But okay. that attack has, to, I mean that that push has to come to get that, that right tone correct. So, so for a bass guitar or for a kick, the attack has to be slower. Right. But whereas the vocals are there, then yeah, that attack has to be tight. As soon as he goes up, it has to be pressed down. Now, okay. How much to press depends on the person or the instrument. Right. The ratio is one is to ten, one is to two, one is to three. Depends on how much difference is correct. and uh, there's a release also so once that l- that level goes below that it has to stop compressing also no oh okay otherwise if the compression okay. is on correct then it will stay compressed correct. so it, there is a release thing so you have to release the compression huh. that again there, there is a time that uh, that you have to give correct the, otherwise it will be choppy so that okay. smoother attack and release so that huh. that comes in and goes down hmm. and uh, amount is decided by ratio so this completely depends on for example a flute player Hmm. How loud is playing certain parts, or a high flute will come out louder. Correct. Correct. Always. So a soft flute is soft. Ha. Huh. And then I most most important thing is after all this is there is gain compensation. Right. So the gain compensation, gain what compensation. it does is, is, is increases the level, overall sound. So all the softer parts come up. Also come up. Right. And whole thing comes up, but whatever goes above this is pressed down. Still okay. So okay. you get a, a, a okay. compressed signal. Correct. So. even uh, for example a snare needs a compression because snare if it's hit loud it is going to trouble everybody on stage true so it has to be kept at a certain level so even if it hits loud it it, it will push it down okay. not to allow it but it is a it is fast attack it can right. be slow attack right. this is a fast okay. attack instrument correct okay so, like that what other effects you use from your if- effects gallery there is noise or? gate which i have to use for a kick for example a kick is doom Doom. Yeah, that dome situation. No, no, right? that that is acoustic situation. I cannot do anything about it. Acha, oh, you can't do it. You, you cannot can't. acoustically if it is happening. Oh, it's just before there reaching. Itself. Yes, not in the. No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It is like for example, if it starts without even mics, it is doing that. I can't do anything. No. Yeah. Whatever I mean, comes after mics. Some also have some reverb. Yeah. So you can't do anything. Correct. So the kick huh. sometimes has a longer uh, ass or sustain. Or sustain. Okay. You know. So Correct. there you will have to if you want. I'm like it's it's a pop. pop album pop song for a jazz i will not put a gate oh okay yeah for a jazz the everything has to ring nicely ding the kick is played by not so constantly all these things yeah. all, like yeah. fundamental sound engineer ding also needs to understand genre genre correct genre based 100%. it is all all depend on that like if it's a dance party then huh. the kick sound the subs level is going to be completely different to a classical concert where there is no frequency in, uh, below 80 hertz Like if tabla is playing, it is 120 hertz. Right. So there is nothing right. going down. You can add little bit of sub around 80 just to give that lift. Correct. Same thing if a tabla player is playing in a with a DJ. Huh. Then I like to add sub to his. Then then people have developed uh, microphone inside of. Uh, right. A lot of people use that. So everything changes depending on how you want the sub. Okay. How you want okay. the. Okay. So, okay. The gate ha. Huh? Where I use gate, for example, in Shivamani's thing, uh, there is one big uh, gong. Oh place. yeah. So yeah. if he normally hits it, it will be dung. It will go. Yeah, it will stay. So as an effect, if he wants to hit it and leave it, then it's fine. Huh. But he wants that effect of dung, 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 dung. Oh. If okay. that effect has to come, that that sustain has to be cut. Right. So I use a gate, which is a noise gate. It's called noise gate. So again, there's a threshold where anything below that it acts. Exactly opposite. Opposite to, to compressor. compressor. So the level drops to a certain level. The dung. hit is there which is loud and then level starts dropping in the sustain so where i want to stop i want to ding to cut or huh. dig only that right. so that that is a gate which is okay. used on kick which is used on all the toms because toms oh, ring okay. a lot okay in a pop rock band the, they cannot stay long right they have right. to be right. like attacky and you know correct like, in a jazz situation uh, not needed correct so so are there any other effects and reverbs and delay reverbs and, and you know all that uh, okay. normal normal stuff which we use but compression uh, this is very very essential then uh, i mean for if there are six singers singing huh. then there has to be soft gate so 
So whenever the other guy is not singing, it shouldn't be picking haan, up haan. other stuff. Okay. Correct. Okay. So vocal microphone is the most processed microphone. You know, it is compressed, it has reverb, it has delay. Right. So, so if the drummer is sitting right behind the vocalist, it is going Always to go going through to this. So the bands I travel with, I have moved drummers on the sides. Okay. I don't have it behind. If at all, if I'm working with the band where it's right there, then there's a shield that comes, okay. which uh, okay. avoids hmm. that bleeding. Uh, one more technical question that, uh, what is your uh, perspective about using condenser microphones on stage? Because they generally I tend am, to pick up everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in favor of using them. I okay. I'll avoid as much as possible because then uh, the issues uh, become multifold. Okay. And I personally, uh, I mean, for classical, a lot of tabla players have started using it. Hmm. I don't like that tone. In a fusion situation, yes. Hmm. If it's drums and then tabla has to play, then condenser putting a condenser. But again, I'll see to it that the drummer and tabla players are right on the opposite side. Oh, okay. So drums is the loudest acoustic instrument Correct. on stage. Correct. So then the condenser mic is more sensitive. It catches right. a lot of everything yeah. around it. Yeah. So I, I prefer dynamic mics like SM58, which are focused in front and they reject everything around it. Mm. So like that, my preferences are dependent on again application, what yeah. kind of music, yeah. Yeah. where it is going to play. But I prefer not to. The, uh, the overheads are condensers. Right. They need to. Uh, be they are far away far and away. they have to catch a lot of high frequency. So they are used. Uh, nowadays, most of the band, as you said, uh, are using in ear microphones, yes. uh, in ear headphones, uh, monitoring. IEMs. 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 So. Yeah. Uh, that the question is little bit out, out outdated or irrelevant. But in the past, how did you uh, like you know solve the issue of time delay mm. from the monitors to the musicians? Because side fills are pretty far, and the front monitors are quite nearer. So there is an inherent delay by the yeah. definition of it. So what would you do there? Because that still exists. I mean, yeah, it's not still everybody exists, can, but you cannot do a... anything about it. The side fills are basically to have. I mean, I have always used side fills to just fill up the stage, to give that ambient sound to all of them, just to add okay. to that. But their their focus, their uh, thing has main to be their main thing is monitors. still from main. It can, see, the simple thing is, uh, the simple funda is. This is you are going to hear it first as you play. Right. Correct. This is going to come delay. Right. So I cannot bring this early. I cannot because there is a path. One, the sound takes the sound to travel huh. takes time, right? Depending on where Correct. where it is. So I, this is delayed. So only thing I can sing these two is by delaying this to that. Oh yes. Understanding? Yeah, yeah, correct, 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 correct. So if I delay this, you will play, you will hear it late. <laughs> so so technically, you cannot do that. You can't. Do that. Yeah. Okay. So again, side fills are used so for just to just to add that low frequency in there. Yes. You know, so mostly. I think it. Also, probably gives the uh, what you were talking uh, in the like some time ago that the feel of getting the auditorium correct, sound. Correct. So that that gives that, that kind also, of correct. that in like you know, envelope envelope of sound. Not exactly right. This right. That you have to depend on your front page. Correct. Okay. Clearly. Like, the know, same to delay you said about. So I, I was talking about the delay stack. If it's a hall right. is longer, right. That's where that comes in. The PA is here. I am here. Huh. So. And the delay stack is here. So the person sitting in front of that speaker is going to hear this speaker first. Right. This is going to take long time. Correct. So I delay this to that level. Right. That, that, but that will so be that you have to uh, actually count the number of meters or uh, yeah. distance yeah. of feet dist distance and multiply or whatever you want. No, uh, standard you calculations will be there. Standard cal you don't so need because the now there is straight feet cal on, Achha, the, on okay. the board. So 120 feet, 10 no, feet, 100 it, feet. That you don't the same thing. When I am standing at the console, huh. I am hearing the PA late. Late, correct. Then every, what everybody is happening on stage. True. So if I am listening to in ears, huh. they come first to me. Right. And the PA comes late. Correct. So there is a constant latency. And if I am listening to this, also PA is loud, I get disturbed. Right. So I delay this. Okay. To match the PA I hear. PA. So that I get a constant sound. Okay. Even if it is slightly mm. delayed, but okay. I am comfortable listening to it. So that also is part and parcel of everything. <laughs> So there was this question that uh, generally are are there like uh, how many monitors are there per musician? Also, like the side fills, is there something on the stage which is common for everybody, all the musicians? Yeah, I'll, I, there's two parts to it. One is uh, in a normal classical situation. Hmm. Traditionally, there has been just two monitors, correct, with one mix. Okay. 
everybody gets this and be satisfied with it. You don't have any choice. When I came in to this, I started changing it to in, because each one has a different requirement. Right. Individual needs like for example, when I am traveling with Shubha Mudgalji, uh, she needs to hear Tanpura very loud. Oh, okay. If I give the same amount of Tanpura in Tabla, then I will have to increase Tabla to so high that it will start feeding. Right. So, individual requirements are different, so I put different monitors for each one. I have to fight when I go to places which have been traditionally having classical festivals or uh, classical uh, uh, programming. Right. There are two monitors kept and that is it. So, as I was saying one week prior to that, I am if I know it is in Kamani for example, which is a traditional classical venue for years together. Delhi or Delhi or Delhi. So, I have to call them and say I need three monitors. <laughs> Haan, sir, ho jayega. I need. I will need three monitors separately. Mm. That's one aspect of. It. Second aspect of it is there is always uh, why do you need riser? Oh, in a classical situation, stage to banana, So I have I have gone to a uh, uh, venue for sound check and there's no riser. So why? No stage was there. No, so I will. I have to change my tech rider to on stage. We need a riser. <laughs> then I have to confirm that there is going to be a riser. Actually, there is. Why do you need a riser? Because my monitors are right in front of the artist. Then they they will say, "Are you side me? Kar do. Lo, aap ke liye nahi hai. Decoration ke liye nahi rakhe. They are for the artist to hear it. So there is right. a particular angle right. they have to be for the artist to hear from it. Mm -hmm. so they have to be right in front. So if your artist is sitting down, the monitor will be right in front. So you won't be able to see. Right. right. I have gone to a festival where I am setting up. When there are other artists who perform on two speakers on the sides, which has been the traditional festival, it has been happening for years. I go there and I am changing, I am going on stage and I am putting the third monitor in, the audience in front of me gets up, oh bhaiya, hatao. <laughs> I said, yes, Shubhaji ke liye, aap sunni hai ki dekhne hai. I, mean, I have to fight with this, I have yeah. to fight with, uh, you know, everywhere, I have to fight for this. I have, uh, in Kamani, I have ran from uh, the console which is on the third floor to there because I had told the uh, venue uh, guys, the tech guys to do this. He was about to do it. The organizer came and told him, no, wo VIP ko dikta nahi hai, wo nahi hmm. I saw the movement and I ran <laughs> to get it there. Hmm. Said, Aap unko it is for Shubhaji. Hmm. So, these are the things which are, I mean, this part and parcel, but this is how it has been. Traditionally, right. it has been right. only one mix for everybody. Okay. Now, it is changing. Okay. Now, it is now changing. So, Nitin, it was really incredible talking to you and uh, getting to know lot of things about how much uh, energy, study of sound engineering and built up experience a sound engineer person who is sitting far away in the middle of a audience is doing or putting in to sound a musician better. So, thank you very much for that thank and uh, Live Demia as you know it is a great uh, website specifically for Indian music and we would love if you can uh, come again on Live Demi with some more detailed uh, yeah, sure. uh, ideas or more detailed uh, workshops or something like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brother. I really appreciate it. Thanks.